I don't know what you're up against. Many of you are struggling right now, but I'm here to remind you that God is still working all things together for his good. If you set the alarm clock this morning, that means you still have hope. How do you know that you are gonna wake up? How do you know? How do you know? You just have a, you just have a body. The body is nothing without the spirit. So how did you know that you were gonna wake up? You had some hope by setting that alarm clock the night before. And that hope activates the Lord to still work in your life, whether you believe it or whether you don't, whether you have a little bit of faith or a lot of faith. That hope is still activating God's power and work through you, in you, and around you. So when I started running, I had a little bit of hope. And my desire was to live free, live amazingly. And in that suffering of excruciating pain and being cut back, Live Free was born. I was actually crying when I was running. And I was praying, I said, Lord, I just wanna live free. And how many of us have prayed desperate prayers and God has showed up? You know, the, the money came in when you didn't see how it was gonna come in. Um, you got a promotion when you didn't think you were ever gonna get one. You landed a new job. You got an opportunity when all the doors were shut. Um, all your people walked out on you and then all of a sudden you had one connection that was gonna take you further and farther than all of the people that you were friends with. I mean, how many times have, have, has God showed up in our lives when we had least expected it, when we felt like we were getting cut back and he came and he showed us that we don't need everything that we think we need, that he is still providing in a desert. He is still providing through the storm. He is still a light in our darkness. And Live Free was born for me in darkness, in desperation, and in suffering and in pain. And the Lord has taken me and done things for me that I, I could never do on my own. He has lined me up with people and the right connections without me even looking at it. People that have put me further and farther, 10, 20, 30 years down the road than all my friends and all my support networks. He has brought those people to me and in me and throughout my life when I least expected it in the middle of nowhere when I felt like I was the most lost and isolated ever before he always provided he, he brought the person there how many stories do we do we have each and every single one of us that can recollect how good God has been in our lives and don't just throw it away because of one challenge today. Don't just give up on that promise because you don't feel strong or you're emotionally unstable or you, you, you feel weak or you have a health report or, or you know, there's somebody that's, that's walking out on you. Don't give up on God's promises. He has never given up on you. He is an ever-present help in a time of need. And he's going to see it through to the very end because he loves his children. We are his prized possession. It says in the Bible that we are the apple of his eye. That means he loves us. You get over it. He loves you and he has not set you up to fail. He has not set you up to fall flat on your face and for you to, to live a, a, a shameful, regretful, weak, bottom of the bottom life. He has set you up to be a light in this world, to shine glory for him and to show people who are struggling that there is hope. And I love you guys.